What's up everybody and welcome back to the channel. Unfortunately a bad news video today but recently Undecember came out. Those of you that have been following my series of videos on the Steam Next Fest and all of the demos that I played during Next Fest will know that this is one of the games that I highlighted. Essentially it's a Diablo Path of Exile clone hybrid whatever you want to call it. And I was really impressed with the combat in the game and it held a lot of promise and generally speaking we don't have enough of these games and every once in a while one of the indie titles that comes out like this like Grim Dawn, like Volson, really really surprise and so I was hopeful that this was going to be another case like that. And I just need to make sure that like 30 seconds have passed, but oh my fucking god, did they monetize the ever-loving fuck out of this game? Let me explain. So, specifically when we go over to into the game itself, now this is obviously, you know, something that wasn't available to us as information when the demo was there. Although, this studio is somehow famous for this, and when I was compiling the information for this, a lot of people had mentioned this to me and said, hey, you know, uh, these guys kind of like, uh, this was to ex be expected, this was going to happen. But just how fucking vampiric this is, uh, I, I, I'm gonna need to go ahead and explain that. So let me just go over to the actual store itself, which, Jesus, this has shocked me so much that I've basically, you know, blocked it out of my fucking memory. But, um, no, that's the game guide. But um, if we go over to the shop itself, so first of all, we need to just discuss essentially how this works. So you have a couple of items in the shop that you can just flat out buy with a you know currency now my currency at the moment is south african rand but let that not you know bother you nonetheless these items are terribly fucking overpriced and it's ridiculous but this isn't this isn't where i want your focus to be because what i'll do is we'll we'll look at the currency shop all right uh which is how you purchase the two different currencies in the game with which you actually buy the majority of the stuff that you potentially want now the first and the base currency in the game is diamonds and then you have rubies which some of the other items in the game can also be bought with and having not played far enough i pro it's it kind of seems like rubies is also something that you can get from certain activities in the game because there seems to be some things that you can buy with rubies as well and there's of course this exchange system between diamonds and rubies which is a one-to-one -one, by the way but i digress so in any case we have several different diamond options here you know starting at like 44 diamonds for essentially what works out to be one usd and then going all the way up so we have we have like a 10 usd option here which i believe is this one uh so this is the 455 diamonds so that's 10 usd and then it goes all the way up to some whale shit of like 4260 diamonds which basically roughly works out to about 90 usd 90 fucking dollars okay so you might be thinking well that's not that bad uh maybe you can get a whole bunch of shit with 90 dollars so let's let's uh let's go fucking look shall we so now again the thing is there's a whole bunch of stuff here like bundles and this is things to do with like you know battleground support items and changing your ruins and stuff like that and right off the bat when you look through some of these items something that is very very clear is that this already shows a lot of pay to win because there's a lot of things here that you can buy which obviously give you a massive advantage over someone else who isn't buying anything and uh i know that there's a there's an argument to be made here to you know whether if if it's just you playing by yourself who gives a fuck if somebody wants to blow their money and all that stuff i will discuss that that whole argument that whole point at the end of the video so hold your tongue but specifically again just saying as we go through here there's a lot of stuff here that essentially looks like ways for you to give you know yourself like a, a fucking boost basically and it involves spending real money on it there is however one thing which you can buy with an in-game currency which is you know fucking gold but i'm 100 percent sure that this is gonna also like 50,000 gold is probably like a ridiculous amount of gold but specifically let's go ahead and look at consumables and convenience because this is generally speaking where people swipe where people spend money and uh this is already where you start seeing something that's problematic so first of all this stardust of oblivion so how this game works is 
you have your basic stats which you level up and you put points into them and that's like strength dexterity and intellect but then you also have like another leveling system which is essentially this rune chart where you go through different star signs and you give yourself different bonuses and all that stuff you cannot change this shit on the fly once you pick something and lock it in it's fucking done and dusted and if you want to change that you need this item you need stardust of oblivion and this motherfucking shit costs three us a pop so every time you want to change your stats, you want to switch from an intellect-based character to a strength-based character, or you realize, oh my fuck, I shouldn't have put all my points into intellect. Jesus Christ, I definitely should have put some stuff into dexterity so that I can at least dodge some things before they kill me. Guess what? You're spending three US. And you have to do that every time. Now there is, however, they mention it here, how fucking graceful. They mention it here that there's a grace period of six hours after you've bought a Stardust of Oblivion and used it, that you could keep on doing that. So the first six hours after using a Stardust of Oblivion, you can fucking reroll your stats as much as you want. But in any case, after those six hours, guess what? Uh, Johnny's spending three US again of mommy's mommy, money, mommy, 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 uh, to fucking reroll their shit. Okay, but it's not that bad yet. Three bucks, fine. It's, you know, it's not the end of the world, you know, whatever. Let's go to convenience. Now, specifically, when we look at convenience here, we have we have two, let's say, three different areas to look at. First of all, you have basic inventory in the game. And let me show you what I mean by that. You have a backpack. This backpack has a hundred slots. OK, that's it. So you have space for a hundred items. Now, you can not get additional bags in this game or anything like that. What you have to do is you have to spend real motherfucking money and you have to buy yourself expanded bag storage now you can do this purchase 30 times and it works out to two and a half bucks two and a half usd per line per five boxes of inventory so per line like this like a line like that that shit a line like this is fucking two dollars fifty that's half a buck a box okay great so uh good times then then you have general storage so general storage is like your stash your stash you can also expand but ho oh, oh, this is really really fucking expensive it's it's 500 diamonds 500 diamonds is like 11 bucks now just just to put this into perspective if you want to buy all 30 slots of the fucking expand bag that's 75 usd if you want to expand your stash all the way so that it's also fully expanded that's another 33 usd and then what we have is we have specifically we have five specific storage areas essence storage chaos card storage material storage charm storage and con fucking what what is is this activate content content material store what the fuck ever you have five of these these are also ridiculously expensive, right? These are clocking in at 15 bucks each, and there's five of them. So again, that's another 75. So if you want to unlock all of the storage available in the game, that is a hundred and motherfucking 80 bucks to get all of this shit unlocked. And it's diamonds as a currency, so there is no way for you to earn this in game. You have to spend this money if you want to get that. Hold on, it gets better. Then, as we've seen from games like Lost Ark, for instance, which has Crystalline Aura, uh, you have some, like, like almost like, since this is a free game, remember that Undecember launched free, right? But all this shit is in the shop. There is a paid track. There is almost like a monthly subscription fee. In the, in, in the place of something like Lost Ark, the Crystalline Aura gives you access to a pet that auto-picks auto things up around you, gives you free fucking travel, and a whole bunch of other boosts. It's, it's like a long list of shit, right? And that usually costs you, I believe, 10 US a month, right? For every 28 days or something like that. This shit is the same. But it's actually spread across two different things. So you have pet ability, which is just a pet that auto loots around you, which you can buy for 400 uh, diamonds. And then you have Zodiac Walker, which is the basically the membership thing. And I'm not sure everything that this offers because it doesn't fucking say, but this essentially says it extends the duration, blah, blah, blah. But it's also 28 days. The point is they fucking know that these two things should be together. So they offer them together. Pet ability and Zodiac Walker ability together for, for 28 days. That shit is 540 fucking diamonds, which is 12 USD. So 
there's a premium game out there, Lost Ark. You might not like Lost Ark, but the bottom line is it's good at what it does. That should cost 10, ha probably has infinitely more content than this, right? And has an established and, you know, fucking roadmap with new shit being added to the game the entire time. They're looking for 10 bucks. And I think probably they offer more than what these guys are looking for for 12 USD. And then honestly, the fucking cherry on the cake here for me is the character name change. The character name change in this game costs you 22 bucks. It's, I mean, you better not make a spelling mistake on that fucking name when you name it, because that's going to come back to haunt you 100%. But this is, this is fucking insane. Like, I, I, I don't understand it. This, this is ridiculous. It's super interesting to me that in today's world, where this sort of thing gets called out by players all the fucking time, studios are still trying to do this shit. They're still trying to monetize and make their game essentially 100% pay to win. This game is getting slaughtered in the reviews in Steam right now, and I would say rightfully so, because there's a lot of things that were present in the demo which you just automatically got by itself, which is now sitting behind this fucking paywall. And that is scummy as hell. The bottom line is, I agree, and I know there's a bunch of you that are probably saying that, dude, you don't actually have to spend a cent. You can just play the game as it is, and it doesn't matter, and finish the story and move the fuck on. You can absolutely fucking do that, 100%. But the bottom line is, studios are still doing this. They're still monetizing it this way, and most likely behind this, and believe me, I plan to try and play this all the way through to the end, through all of the acts without spending a cent, and I plan to try and see how that affects the things like you know legendary drops and better item drops and all of that because the bottom line is this game has this underlying system where your skills level up to a point and then you have to upgrade them from a normal skill into a magical skill and then from a magical skill into uh, you know an advanced skill and so on and so forth those items are random drops out in the wild in the game or they are just simply available in the shop for cash money what I also haven't touched on is the fact that this game has an auction house, which actually only allows you to auction off a limited amount of items unless you spend real money from your wallet to list those items on the auction house. Then you're able to spend as much money as you want and list as many money, you know, items as you want. Likewise, if you want to buy items off the auction house, you have to spend real money to buy it. This is fucking, and obviously the studio is most likely taking a cut off that. I'll be digging through this a lot more. Honestly, I've only spent a couple of hours with this. This is already disgusting enough to me as it is. But the main reason why I made this video, it's, let's say two reasons why I made it. The first one being that I wanted to share this with, you know, a wider audience. People have literally been asking me, you know, am I going to be playing this and so on. And secondly, because I had made a video recommending this fucking game, which I now absolutely do not do. Yes, you can play the game single player all the way through, and yes, you can do it without spending a fucking cent, but should you fucking do that? It's a sad thing because this is actually a fun game to play. And it's always the way how it works, isn't it? It's the fun games, the ones that you would actually play and that wouldn't leave such a fucking bad taste in your mouth if it wasn't monetized to death like this. But nonetheless, let me know in the comments down below if you've tried this out, if it's not that big an issue for you. Uh, I know, again, this is different strokes for different oaks. This doesn't bother as many people as it bothers other people. Uh, I think the issue here is that because this isn't being, you know, taken a stance against hard enough or enough, studios still try to do this. Because again, this is the part that amazes me that in 20 fucking 22, at this point in the game, where games have literally been fucking voted down into the ground because of this kind of stuff, they still do this. They still do this. And they will probably make money on this because you will get fucking people that spend money on this horse shit but that's it thank you so for, so much for watching especially if you made it this far i'm sorry for the extreme rantiness of this video but this kind of came out of left field i was holding thumbs hoping that this wasn't going to be the case of this game but like a fucking dozen people told me that it was going to be and i was fucking wrong and it pisses me off it is what it is but thank you it's just super important to me that you have a fantastic morning, afternoon, and evening wherever you are in the world. And until next video, fucking cheers. They want the best of me now.
best of me now, best of me now, best of me. They want the best of me now, best of me now, best of me now, best of me. Now, best of me. Now, best of me.